Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India subgroup of the automorphisms, homeomorphisms of uh, the universal covering space. Okay. So why is the fundamental group of the base space, uh, why can it be identified naturally as a subgroup of automorphisms of the universal covering, uh, uh, automorphisms which are of course uh, homeomorphisms, okay, self homeomorphisms. Okay, so um, so for this, uh, um, uh, one has to go through a, a, a small construction. So uh, so sub, so we'll do the following thing. Uh, suppose um, x tilde to x p is a covering space. You just take any other covering space of x. Okay. Um, uh, fix uh, the point. Uh, uh, in fact, um, mm, uh, so fix fix a point. Fix a point. Uh, x tilde uh, belonging to capital X tilde with P of X tilde. Uh, let me call this as. Uh, um, um, let me call this as p tilde because I've used p already. Okay, uh, p is supposed to be our uh, covering map from the universal covering to X. Okay, so uh, so let X tilde from p tilde to X be covering space, and you fix a point in uh, small X tilde and capital X tilde. Okay, which lies over X. Okay, so uh, so the so the situation is like this. Um, so here is um, uh, so here is uh, x sub unit um, I fixed uh, in x sub unit of course I am going to take the natural point uh, uh, namely the constant path at x which lies above uh, uh, which lies above x small x in capital X okay and then I am going to take another uh, so there is another covering space uh, x tilde given to me along with the covering map p tilde so this map is p okay and uh, uh, and i have a point uh, here namely uh, small x tilde which is uh, also lying over x okay under the map p tilde right now what i'm going to do is that i claim that uh, this this much of data is enough to <coughs> define a map from uh, x uh, from the from this universal covering to that covering such that this map itself becomes a covering okay so uh, uh, so so i'm going to do the following thing okay so uh, i'm going to do the following thing take any point uh, of x sub unit um, say um, alpha okay now well um, this alpha well is going to is going to correspond to me to a path here alpha starting at x okay and uh, uh, I have uh, uh, so you know uh, and of course for this alpha there is this there is this very natural alpha tilde that we constructed 
which is given by the shrinking homotopy that is the path that lifts alpha okay to the universal covering right. Um, what I am going to do is now since I have a path here and since this is a covering okay there is a lift there is a lift of this there is a unique lift of this to a path starting at x tilde okay. So what I am going to get is I am going to get I am going to get a path here let me call this as uh, um, uh, um, alpha hat okay so this alpha hat is unique lift of alpha okay to x tilde starting at x okay and uh, it has an end point and I am going to define a map uh, uh, which will send this alpha to uh, this point okay. So what I am going to do is this is my map so this is my map phi uh, uh, and this map depends on um, uh, uh, this map depends on uh, this x tilde okay that I have fixed there right. Uh, so let me write that down so define the map uh, phi sub x tilde from x sub phi to x tilde okay by sending alpha to uh, alpha hat of 1 where alpha hat is the unique lift lift of uh, um, alpha to uh, x tilde starting at uh, small x tilde okay. Uh, so this is my map right now the point is that this uh, this map is well defined uh, this map is well defined uh, because uh, if I change alpha uh, by uh, something that is homotopic to alpha so uh, then uh, that means I will change uh, if alpha is also homotopic to beta then I will then I will have uh, then I will then I'll have a beta here okay uh, which is fixed end point homotopic to alpha and uh, and then you know uh, beta will also lift here okay but then the covering homotopy th I mean a theorem says that you know fixed end point homotopies can be lifted to fixed end point homotopies so the lift of uh, beta hat of beta will also have the same end point as the lift of alpha hat. So this map is well defined uh, uh, even if you change alpha up to uh, homotopy fixed end point homotopy okay so this is a well defined map okay. Now, um, uh, uh, it is a it is it is somewhat of an exercise uh, uh, basically using the fact that um, you know uh, uh, these are local homeomorphisms and they are covering maps uh, uh, a little exercise uh, will tell you that this itself is a covering map okay. So, so let me write uh, let me write that um, um, uh, a, lit a little work exercise shows uh, phi sub x tilde is itself a covering map okay. So this is some work that needs to be done alright uh, uh, you can verify that for yourselves alright and um, And what I would like to say is that um, uh, uh, in some sense this this whole thing is uh, gives what is called as a universal property of the universal cover okay. So, uh, uh, so, so let me say some something more uh, and uh, uh, it actually uh, lifts um, it actually lifts p. So you see what is happening is I have x sub univ okay uh, and I have uh, uh, this map p to x okay then I have 
x tilde p tilde this is a cover this is your covering uh, uh, given to you and then there is this point uh, c x here which goes under p to x okay there is this point small x tilde here which goes also to the same x okay and what happens is that I am able to define this phi sub uh, uh, phi sub uh, x tilde and this diagram commits. So this phi sub x tilde is a lifting of p okay and uh, uh, it has a property that it sends c x to x tilde okay if I start with the uh, if for if for alpha I took the constant map at x then it will go down just to the constant uh, uh, it will it will just go uh, what I get, get here is the constant path at x and its lift will be unique lift will be just the constant path at x tilde so you know uh, constant path at x will go to x tilde so this is what happens uh, under this map okay so so let me write that also uh, uh, note note that uh, phi x tilde is the unique lift lift of uh, p uh, to uh, x tilde taking uh, c x to uh, x tilde okay because uh, you know uh, a covering map uh, you know the local homeomorphism has this uniqueness of lifting property. So if you have two maps uh, if you have any lifting that uh, agree at a point then they will agree everywhere. So this lifting is completely controlled by the fact that this c x this this point goes to x tilde. So it is completely determined by this x tilde okay. Um, now uh, in addition suppose uh, so this is the uh, so this is uh, so this is what is called the universal property of the covering. So what it does is the universal cover you give me any other cover okay uh, the universal covering space is also a covering space for any other covering space this is also a covering map okay that is the that is this is the so called universal property that is the reason why it is called universal okay okay. So uh, uh, this gives this gives uh, the the universal property for the universal cover so in fact I should not put this in quotes I should rather put this in quotes okay x unit which which says which which says x unit is also the universal covering covering uh, is also uh, um, um, let me say first it is also a covering a covering <coughs> of any uh, covering x tilde of x okay this is the universal property of the universal covering okay okay now uh, now what I am going to do is I am going to say uh, the following I am going to say that suppose, suppose in this whole construction that x tilde were also simply connected suppose x tilde were also simply connected then you can define an inverse map okay and uh, that will be continuous and that will give you a homeomorphism of this with that okay and that gives you the uniqueness of the universal covering okay. So let me let me state that um, so that also essentially uses only the unique path lifting property okay so uh, so let me write that down suppose in addition that x tilde were simply connected. then we can define an inverse 
to phi x tilde and check it is it is continuous ok. So, you see uh, uh, essentially the game I played to define this map phi sub x tilde the same game I can play to define a map in this direction which will be an inverse namely what is that map see from x so here is x tilde um, and uh, uh, so so it is it is something like this so I I will need to draw a diagram again um, so let me again draw a diagram so so here is x tilde and uh, here is p tilde this is x ok and uh, um, this is the universal covering x sub u nu ok and uh, what I fixed here is uh, 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 the point c x which is which is lying over the point x uh, under the map uh, p and I have fixed a point uh, there namely x small x tilde which is lying over which is again lying over uh, uh, the point x under the map p tilde ok. Now what I am going to do is uh, uh, I am going to define uh, um, psi sub uh, c x ok uh, that is a map from here to here and the way I do it is as follows give me a point y tilde here give me a point y tilde here what I will do is because x tilde is arcwise connected I will simply choose a path uh, uh, let me call this as uh, uh, I will choose a path here ok from x tilde to y tilde right and I push that path down ok I get a path here if I call this path as uh, uh, beta ok then this path is just uh, the unique lift of uh, beta starting at x tilde so this is uh, this is beta hat all right and uh, now what I will do is I will also take the unique lift of uh, this beta uh, to x unit so what I am going to get is I am going to get I am going to get this path here which you all know is uh, is beta tilde that is there and I am going to get an end point ok and uh, and uh, uh, this is a map so this map is going to send y tilde to uh, well uh, to this point ok. So, psi so psi uh, sub c x is going to send uh, y tilde to uh, beta tilde of 1 ok and you see uh, uh, so you see this point which is beta tilde of 1 that lies over uh, beta of 1 ok and uh, and of course y also lies over beta of 1 ok. So, uh, so, so this is also true y also lies over beta of 1 ok and if I instead of beta hat if I had chosen something else uh, which is another path from x tilde to y tilde uh, small x tilde to small y tilde uh, it is anyway going to be homotopic to uh, uh, beta hat because x tilde is simply connected and therefore its images here are going to be homotopic and therefore the lifts here are also going to be homotopic so this end point is going to be uniquely determined. So the simply connectedness is just used to tell me uh, that I can de define this map properly ok. Now again a little bit of exercise uh, will tell you that this map is continuous ok and it is an inverse to uh, phi sub x tilde and uh, uh, therefore uh, phi sub uh, x tilde will turn out to be a homeomorphism. So what it will tell you is if x tilde to x is uh, a covering space with x tilde simply connected then that has to be homeomorphic to the universal covering space ok. So this gives you the statement that any covering of x with the property that the covering space is simply connected has to be isomorphic to this covering and uh, it, is isom it is not just a homeomorphism of these two spaces alone it is a homeomorphism that respects the, the projections so it is a homeom so, so it is an isomorphism of covering spaces ok. So uh, it is an isomorphism from here to here which uh, this followed by this is this projection and similarly uh, phi, x, phi sub x tilde going in this direction followed by this is this projection ok. 
so uh, um, so can check can check uh, uh, phi sub uh, x tilde is a homeomorphism uh, with inverse uh, psi sub c x okay and uh, uh, so, so let me repeat that this gives you the fact that uh, 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 any two uh, covering spaces of X with the which which are uh, simply connected are homeomorphic in a way that respects the covering projections okay and this is uh, this is the so called uniqueness of the uh, universal covering of a space okay alright. So, we have also got the uniqueness of the uh, universal covering. Uh, now uh, I need to uh, go on and uh, tell you why the uh, uh, fundamental group uh, uh, below is can be recognized as a subgroup of uh, homeomorphisms of the covering uh, universal covering okay. So, um, so, um, so let me see whether I have written that down properly. Um, So, uh, let me write one more line uh, any two any two covering spaces for x which are simply connected are homeomorphic uh, in a way that respects the covering projections so this is this is what you get and this is the uni so this is the this is the so called uniqueness of the universal covering So this is the uniqueness of the universal covering. What it tells you is that you can get a, a homeomorphism, and the homeomorphism is unique if you fix a point in uh, in one and a point in and the other. Okay. So we say it's unique up to a unique isomorphism. Okay. So if you want, you can find many. If you find if you have two uh, simply connected covers of the same space, uh, you can get many homeomorphisms, but uh, if you want to fix the homeomorphism you have to fix a point here and its image there then you have fixed it okay fine. Now uh, what I need to do is um, uh, I need to tell you that the fundamental group of X the fundamental group below uh, sits as a uh, subgroup of automorphisms of uh, the universal covering. So I have to identify a certain subgroup of automorphisms of, uni of the universal covering and these are the so called deck transformations. So let me define the uh, deck transformation group. of a covering so what is this so it is defined like this the deck so the notation that I am using is the following deck x tilde x p is the set of all uh, 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 phi from x tilde to x to x tilde such that phi is a homeomorphism. and phi respects the projection namely uh, first apply phi then apply p you get back p okay. So basically the diagram is like this uh, so you can see these are of course uh, homeomorphisms from x tilde to itself so this is this is certainly a subgroup of the uh, the homeomorphisms from x tilde to x tilde okay which is just automorphisms of x tilde octo the automorphisms of x tilde as a topological space okay the self homeomorphisms from x tilde to x tilde this is a certain subgroup okay the the uh, what is this subgroup 
uh, these are those which behave well with respect to the projection and this actually means that uh, these automorphisms they they act on x tilde in the fiber direction okay. So, uh, uh, so the condition so let me write that down. The condition uh, P circle phi is equal to P says that elements of uh, uh, the deck transformation group uh, uh, act uh, along the fibers of P. namely you see p circle phi of say uh, a point y is equal to p of y uh, this actually means that you know uh, phi of y lies in uh, uh, p inverse of y p inverse of uh, uh, p of y okay so uh, you can you can imagine what is happening so basically so this is your x uh, and this is your uh, so of course I have used p tilde everywhere so I should be careful about p tilde uh, it should have been p tilde here uh, because I have reserved p for the map that we have uh, constructed so let me change it everywhere to p tilde. So the so the situation is like this uh, you give me a point uh, and you give me a admissible neighborhood the inverse image under p tilde will be several uh, 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 several neighborhoods which are homeomorphically mapped by t p tilde onto this and what uh, uh, this deck transformation will do will essentially it will move uh, the uh, these the so called decks okay you can think of them as them as various decks of a ship if you want. Uh, or floors of a building okay uh, and the action of uh, each of these uh, deck transformations is going to be only in the vertical direction okay. Uh, now uh, you can guess what I am going to do I am just going to show that the fundamental group uh, uh, I am just going to show that the fundamental group of x capital X base at small x is canonically identifiable with this okay and uh, that finishes it okay. So, uh, so let me do that it is not very difficult to do. So, uh, define the map. So here is the map uh, um, <coughs> row fundamental group X to fundamental group of capital X based at small x to the deck transformation group of. Uh, so I'm now going to take the universal cover that we constructed. I am going to define this map okay. So uh, of course what I have said here is for a this is a deck transformation group of a general covering okay um, I am now going to uh, uh, restrict to the case of the universal cover okay. So what is this map so uh, it is it is the following so what I do is suppose I start with uh, a sigma okay now a sigma here is a loop base at x okay so my diagram is going to look like this so here is so here is small x and here is my sigma okay um and what i'm supposed to do is i have to give you a map from uh, uh x sub unit into itself okay so i start with uh, i start with a point alpha in x sub unit and I will tell you where it goes to uh, under the image of this so this will go to rho of uh, uh, sigma I, I will define this as a deck transformation and uh, so uh, so this should be a map from uh, x univ into itself 
okay and uh, what is this map uh, I will send alpha to uh, sigma alpha okay. So you see if I start with the point alpha that is going to give me a path here okay alright and then uh, it is going to end somewhere and this point is going to be the point to which uh, this alpha is going to be mapped uh, under this uh, under the uh, under the covering projection so this is going to go to go to this okay and uh, if if i take uh, if i take sigma followed by alpha that is also a path starting at x uh, and ending at alpha of 1 so it is going to be another point here so it is so sigma alpha is also going to be here okay and uh, therefore you see the your map is like this so it is a map that pushes along the fiber okay. Now uh, two or three things can be seen very very quickly uh, uh, actually uh, you can directly see that this map is uh, bijective okay uh that is that is very very uh, uh, easy, easy to see easy to see to see uh, uh, rho of sigma is bijective okay uh, that is quite easy to see um, uh, uh, why is that uh, s true because you see subjectivity uh, if I want uh, uh, to get hold of a beta okay then uh, you know I have to just send it to uh, I have to just take uh, um, sigma inverse uh, beta okay this will go to sigma sigma inverse beta which is beta okay. So this is surjectivity and uh, uh, injectivity is uh, obvious. Uh, if uh, uh, if sigma alpha 1 is equal to sigma alpha 2 then alpha 1 and alpha 2 are homotopic fixed end point okay. So it is it is bijective okay there is nothing to it is very very easy to check that but in fact uh, the point is that uh, this map is a map of this form that is the whole point. And that is the reason why it is a homeomorphism okay. Uh, why is it a map of this form uh, it is so if, if I uh, if I write it down uh, uh, so let me rub this let me draw another diagram so you see what is happening is the following I have I have my x here. I have my universal covering here okay and I have again my universal covering here okay and these are of course again the covering projections <coughs> okay. What I am fixing here is of course over the point small x the point I am fixing is Cx okay. Uh, uh, notice that uh, Cx goes to sigma okay and uh, notice also that Cx and sigma are points over x see over x you have the point uh, Cx the constant path of x the homotopy class and sigma is a loop so there is there uh, you see uh, that is also a point here okay and both of them are lying above x okay and uh, this uh, this multiplication by sigma acts on the fiber over x in the most natural way okay this is just multiplication by sigma on the left okay uh, and in every uh, over every fiber that is what is happening okay. So you see uh, choose this cx take x and then you take here the point I fix uh, I fix the point uh, sigma okay which is a point over x okay and I claim that if you take the corresponding map phi sub uh, sigma I claim that this map is literally the same as uh, 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 rho of sigma 
okay I claim that these two are the same I claim that these two are the same of course you know uh, you have to do some work to check that rho of sigma is a homeomorphism okay uh, check uh, uh, well in fact to check that rho of sigma is a homeomorphism you can check that uh, these two are equal and then use the fact that phi sub sigma is a homeomorphism okay. So uh, uh, so let me write that down check rho of sigma is a homeomorphism uh, is a homeomorphism uh, as follows uh, by, by this claim okay but see why is this true um, if I take if I take a point alpha here okay uh, where will this uh, go to under uh, under uh, phi sub sigma where will it go to. So well uh, if you give me a point alpha then this is a uh, this represents the point uh, the path alpha here okay then I will get I will get this thing here which is see this is the canonical lift of this alpha. Uh, to the universal covering which is given by the shrinking homotopy okay and uh, and if I push it down I get alpha alright. Now I take the lift of this starting at sigma okay so I will get I will get a lift uh, alpha tilde but now this time starting at sigma okay this is a this sigma is another point over the uh, over x another point in the fiber so I get and what is this end point this end point is precisely rho of sigma okay see this end point will turn out to be actually sigma alpha okay. So you can see uh, right and why this end point will turn out to be uh, sigma alpha is again because of the shrinking homotopy construction okay therefore these two maps are the same but if you already verified that this is a homeomorphism then so is this okay therefore uh, and of course the way I have uh, the way I have defined it it is going to respect the uh, projection so it is going to be a it is going to be a homeomorphism of the universal covering which respects the projection so it is going to be a deck transformation. So this map certainly lands inside here okay if I change sigma up to a homotopy nothing is going to change okay there is no problem if I change sigma by a homotopy you can check uh, it is obvious that nothing is going to change. So this is a well defined map you can see that the uh, identity element will go to the identity element here okay because here is just multiplication on the left by sigma so if sigma was the identity element this will be just the identity map so the identity element of this group goes to the identity element of that group and you can easily verify that this row is a group homomorphism because it is just left multiplication literally okay so this is a group homomorphism uh, uh, and uh, uh, it is easy to check that uh, 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 this is uh, both injective as well as surjective okay uh, so that can be checked very easily uh, so let me do that and then we are done so uh, um, uh, rho sub uh, so what was it rho of uh, yeah rho of uh, cx is identity uh, map on x sub unit and rho of uh, sigma 1 sigma 2 uh, so I should say uh, yeah, multiplication in the group here is rho sigma 1 composed by with rho sigma 2 okay uh, rho is surjective uh, how does one see that rho is surjective it is uh, 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 it is very very easy to see because see suppose you give me uh, given uh, a deck transformation uh, let us say phi uh, which is a deck transformation from x sub unit p to x okay uh, then you see this uh, deck transformation will take the constant path at x to 
a certain path okay. So, phi of uh, C x okay is uh, is going to be uh, a point of x subunit uh, 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 is such that you see uh, uh, rho of uh, uh, rho of uh, um, Okay, um, phi of uh, C x okay will be just phi okay because you see uh, uh, rho of uh, uh, you see rho of uh, rho of sigma just phi sub sigma okay. So, rho of this for the left hand side is rho of this is just phi sub uh, it is phi sub uh, No, I, I, I need I did not see this. Uh, these two are equal because they are both lifts of P and they both agree at C x okay because both are lifts of P and both agree at C x that is why okay. So, uh, rho is surjective and uh, rho is injective okay uh, namely uh, you know if rho of uh, sigma 1 is equal to rho of uh, uh, sigma 2 okay uh, then again the same reason uh, both of them will agree uh, I mean you apply apply these to C x okay apply this to C x you will get uh, uh, evaluate at C x, uh, C x will go under this to sigma 1 and uh, uh, C x will go to sigma 2 homotopy class under this. So, you will get injectivity okay. So, the upshot of this is that uh, uh, the upshot of this is that the, the fundamental group below is naturally a subgroup of automorphisms of the universal covering above okay and uh, it is something that can be very explicitly seen okay. So, I think uh, I think with this uh, from uh, the next lecture onwards I will move on I will go back to Riemann surfaces and I will start reducing uh, the all the fundamental results that I told you by analyzing Mobius transformations.